There we go. Hello YouTube, D. Baudry here. Um, there's this one little section on the bottom side of the board that I thought was kind of interesting. I don't know what U400 does, but uh, yeah, a little 8-pin chip on there, and all surrounded by capacitors and things. I am suspicious that that is probably something part of the motor discovery componentry, something that like does inductance measurement, resistance measurement, something like that. And this is all functionality that is needed uh, in order to have proper field-oriented control. Anyway, I just thought that was an interesting little part of the board, and you can't really see it so well. Uh, there is all of my goobers on there from desoldering the daughter board. But you can see right down inside there, the D209 or whatever. So, and you've got a little full wave bridge rectifier right there. You know, whatever that number is, I can't read it myself. You got another one here. So, something AC gets converted back into DC. Got a bunch of capacitors and resistors in there. And this is all on the back side of where the daughter board is. So, there's a bunch of signals. That go through those pins, ignore all the solder bridges, that's me uh, from trying to unsolder that connector but you know, all that stuff goes into there and back up to the daughter board and here's that other one over there and again covered with goobers thanks to me let's flip this thing over and take a look at the other side not much, a, not a whole lot to see on here um, but there's a few interesting things didn't think I was going to do this, but I flattened out all the MOSFETs, so we can look around a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Right there. See, we can't look at that little guy. There we go. You can kind of see it. Sort of half occluded by that electrolytic capacitor right there. But there is one of your gate drivers. I don't know if that's a low side or a high side. And I haven't uh, looked up the part on there. But, uh, yeah, that's one of your gate drivers for one of the phases. And go down here a little bit more. So, again, I don't know what this chip does or what its part number is. I can't read it right now. Maybe that will show up on video better than I can see it. Because I can't tell what that says. Uh, pull out stronger glasses. Maybe I can see it then. Oh, yeah, that's super clear. <clears throat> yep, still can't read that. And, and there's another little guy right there. Oh look, another 7805. Little linear regulator. I think that's what that says. Yeah, 78L05. Yeah, it's a little 5 volt regulator. Right there. This little guy. And go a little bit further. This is what I was thinking is. So that says, uh, looks like KBXAB, and then the other number looks like FAN7388. This is what I was saying, I believe, is the MOSFET driver slash some kind of a MUX DMUX. Um, don't really know that for sure, but there's nothing on the daughter board that would indicate that it has any kind of MOSFET driver control up there. And so, to me, this looks like the candidate for that job. And you can see another one of those little gate drivers right there. Yeah, right up underneath here. And it looks like it says 2063 on it to me. Let's look a little bit more. Yeah, there's that one connector I was able to unsolder. Pull the pins out. Looks like I pulled up. Yeah, I did. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. So you see right there? There was a solder pad there, and it's now on the pins. <laughs> I pulled it off. Oops. Well, this was a destructive dis disassembly. Oh, look, right there, you can see a thermistor. Uh, right there. There's one of the three thermistors for for the three phases for measuring temperature. And keep in mind, that's on the back side, right there at the base of the MOSFETs. So, um, 
Let's see, can you see the legs anywhere here? Yeah, right there. So there's the thermistor, and here's a MOSFET leg, and there's another one right next to it. So as you can see, it's right there at the MOSFETs. So it's a good location for the thermistor for that phase. Um, so we can measure the temperature of the MOSFETs in that phase. Let's move over a bit more. So what else we can see here of deep fascination. Fascination. Yeah, this this board is not super duper exciting, and um, I'm not really scrutinizing it for things to prove my point about shoddy construction. Just show any details on the darn thing. Yeah, a couple diodes. Those are probably shot keys in my opinion. Don't really know that, but uh, that's common practice. Something like this. Let's see. Let me see if I can't move some capacitors out of the way here. There we go. See the stuff underneath them. Yeah, there's another one of those MOSFET drivers. I think that's the high side one. Because we run away. We're looking at that one. I think that's the low side one. Can't see the high side one. It's buried under those capacitors up underneath there. Yeah, you're not going to get a look at that one. Yeah, let's see what else can we see here. You can kind of see a ceramic cap peeking out right there. Which there's a bunch of those on each one of the phases uh, to filter out high frequency noise. Um, yeah, you can see some of those vias. Yep. Which one am I looking at? There we go. So you see those little holes? Yeah, so not all of them filled with solder, but you can see that a lot of them are. And uh, there's more underneath the brass uh, standoff, too. But uh, all those little vias, little through holes, they connect copper uh, through all the different layers to really bind this thing into a much more monolithic hunk of material to make... Uh, mounting those brass studs way more resilient than they are on the KO Pro by a lot. What else can we look at here? Ooh, you want to see some damage I did? Is that that one? Oh, that one's good. Anyway, so you can see that little capacitor right there. <laughs> That's what I said I broke off, but on the other side. So let's go over to this one here. There she is. So yeah, see that little guy right there? Some another snapped that one off when I was digging out potting. Another part I broke off. Wherever that is. There she is. Over on the other end. Let me flip this thing around. There. There's my other breakage right there. It used to be an inductor. Nope. Sorry. Put the camera. That little guy. That used to be mounted right there. And I just caught it with my spooger and snapped her right off. So, yeah, I'd have to find another one of those inductors. It says 221 on it, so that's probably uh, 220 microhenries, I'm guessing. Um, that wouldn't be very hard to source another one of those. Get a replace, but. Yeah, this is never going to run again. I've pretty well damaged it beyond that point. Anything else of high curiosity here? I don't know. Let's pull some caps up out of the way. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Get that under the camera. There she is. So, that is one of your the Q202. That's one of your MOSFET gate drivers. That little guy right there. And then you can see the legs for a MOSFET right next to it. So I'm going to pull this thing out real quick. See if I can't spot the uh, thermistor for that phase. So he's got to be here somewhere. Uh, Well, I don't see it. <laughs> little dinky part, you know, it's about two millimeters long at most and a millimeter wide, so really, really small. 
Yeah, I don't see it. Oh well. Yeah, she's there somewhere, pretty darn sure. But uh, yeah, I don't see it. Anyway, yeah. So that was kind of a curious little exploration. Love doing stuff like this. Hope uh, that satiated your curiosity as well. Enjoy.